Hey guys, welcome back to Bone Survivalist. Today we're going to be talking home defense. More specifically, what common items you have in your home that you can use for self defense. Before we get started, I want to show you guys my $5 survival haul. Biomass Cube Fire Starters. These are great. They are made from renewable resources. They last up to 10 minutes. And this box is completely packed full of those things. You can pull a few out, throw them in your survival gear, and you'll have a fire whenever you need it. This is a great item to have. These are $4.97 at Walmart. What is the most common item for self-defense in a home? That would be a firearm. This is a BB gun, but I'm using it for demonstration. Not everyone owns a firearm, wants a firearm for whatever personal reason. So we're gonna go over some of the many items that you have in your home that you can use for self-defense. Everyone has kitchen knives. These are a couple of examples of some of the bigger kitchen knives that you can use for self-defense. The bigger knives got a good sharp point. Keep them sharp. A butcher knife or a bone knife, something with a bigger blade. Also, everyone owns a pair of scissors. These are the kitchen scissors. This is just a standard pair, but they make great weapons in an emergency. Now, not everyone owns one, but these are pretty common, a rolling pin. I know this one's kind of common knowledge, but a rolling pin, it makes a pretty good weapon. Brooke is gonna pretend that I am an intruder. Can I really? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that's the demonstration. You can cause some damage with these things. Another common item that people don't really think about is just a standard coffee mug. You get one of these in your hands, that can inflict massive damage. Yes. <laughs> oh, I never thought of this one. He's I mean, so smart. That right there. You can. <laughs> if you can get your hands on a coffee mug, people have them hanging up in their house here and there, using for decorations. But in an emergency <laughs> situation, you need to defend yourself. That right there makes somebody see stars, or even worse. Another thing: canned goods. You can use them for a bludgeon weapon, just like a coffee mug. And if you need to, you can use them to throw if they're coming at you. And if you're standing next to a cabinet, you can just empty the cabinet at them. That'll slow them down long enough for you to get to maybe another item that's a, a, little, more, a little more potent or help you get out the door. That'll save you some time. So always remember, you're next to a canned vegetable or any kind of canned item, they're great weapons. Another thing is hornet spray. This stuff is pepper spray on steroids. It shoots up to 27 feet, so you can hit them from across the room and this gets in your eyes, you're not gonna be seeing, I promise you. This stuff is really, really mean and it's forceful. And like I said, you get hit with that, you're going to the ground. You're not even going to be worried about whatever it is you came in that house to do. Our local sheriff even put out a bulletin telling women to carry this stuff, which I've seen this uh, some comments on my channel. And uh, you guys say you carry this. This is a good item. So if you don't pick up a bottle or a can, it's like $4. Keep it by your bedside. And like I said, 27 feet. So you can catch them coming and you can empty that bottle. It's got, there's a lot in this too. So this is a very good item to have. Another item, just your standard umbrella. Uh, most umbrellas have that point. Use this as a weapon, keep somebody at bay. Now here's where I'm gonna have to show a demonstration. Guys, one second, I'm gonna take this to another room so I can show you exactly what I'm talking about using an umbrella for. I want to feel dumb. Okay, there's an intruder. Oh, okay. God. So, you know, I, here, I'm an intruder. I'm coming at you. So, you know, you're... <laughs> and then, if that's not keeping them at bay, if they're trying to rush in, you pop it open. 
You can't, <laughs> you can't see what she's doing. It disorients the attacker, gives you time to either keep fighting or do a full jab and then run away to another room to where you can get another weapon. So that is why Umbrella is really good. That was fun. <laughs> another thing is a baseball bat. Now this one is a small t-ball bat and most people get the full size bats but these are a lot better to use especially if you're in a tight closed quarter situation. You can swing it around. You don't have to have a lot of room to get that drawback. You can use it one handed because it's really light. Also with these bats, you want to get a long sock and put over it. And I'll show you why. Okay. Oh! Pretend like you're swing at me. I get it. Now, if I catch it, I can't. I'm gonna pull oh, back. Oh, and I can do I'm it again. Pull back the sock, and then you're still in the fight. Mm. If not, <laughs> I catch it, and I've got it. It's true. Yeah. He's got it. <laughs> so, put the sock over that baseball bat keeps you in the fight. Another good item: the tried and true cast iron skillet, pot, or pan. These things right here will cause massive devastation if you get a good lick in. Because, I mean, they weigh five or 10 pounds. They have a lot of kinetic energy. So that's why they're tried and true. Women throughout the ages have used these for defense. So I always remember that cast iron skillet, it's not just for cooking. This is my last item for this video. This is a little more uncommon, a baseball. Now, you can go purchase these at Walmart. I don't really know what the price of them are, but you can get a bag of them. But you can use it to throw at an attacker or just like the, the baseball bat, put that in a sock. You have a very, very good melee weapon. Um, Step Brothers, you know? So, he put barges up in a pillowcase. Yeah. I'm gonna take a pillowcase fill it full of bars of soap and beat it out of you. So another one it is a pillowcase with something heavy in it, but this, like I said, if you don't have it in a sock, you can use it to throw, but you put it in a sock and you've got a good melee weapon. I'm gonna try it. Yeah, well, so when you swing, Oh when my you gosh, swing, you that, you didn't move. I wanna see how, <laughs> what the range is. Move, it's a Whoa, look at that. I could almost hit you. I yeah. can hit you from there. I can't <laughs> do it though because I hurt you. Yeah. Now these are only just some items inside of your home that you can use as weapons. After this video, take some time, look around, see what else you can find. Um, there are multiple things inside your home that you could turn into a weapon in a moment's notice if you had to. But these are some of the more common items that just about everyone will have in their home. So I hope this video helps. All the women, take note, stay safe. This is Budget Survivalist. Till next time. Mm -hmm.